Anybody else decide to use it just on the wing? No, just because of this. Okay. But beyond that, you know, you weren't doing really psychedelics or heavy drinking or anything of that nature? Okay. And did, um, did shaking the burden indicate to you of who requires a four day weekend then, as opposed to a school day? I always assumed because we wouldn't have to be at school so he could have the time to make the preparations. Okay. And we knew she would be at school because he knew. And so we went off that knowledge that we would have time to prepare beforehand and, and we would know where she was at. Okay. 
themselves. And we moved locations over to John's house where we had a small fire. And then I think you're starting to get dark at that point. Um, my dad came and picked Zoe and myself up. We dropped Zoe off at her place. And then I, I sent several text messages to John explaining to him what happened between me and she and Mrs. Frieder. Yeah, that first 
certain group where he is lookout? I think he originally started helping me, and then I was on my own dragging her, and then I wasn't even sure where he was at. I just wanted to have the group. Okay. Okay. So, um, once you see her um, drop after that first initial hit, you go up there and, and you make the indication or, or issue the direction that you're going to like, make sure she's not breathing. And then you say that he follows up with, with two shots. Um, as you're moving her, she's open and closing her hands. You say that, you know, by now we're committed, we're in this. Um, and you feel the need to, to finish the job. About how many? And again, I'm not going to hold you to the exact number, but about how many times do you strike her to finish things off? Five, more or less. Approximately five. Um, and was there something about her body movements or lack thereof that made you think, I'm done at five? As opposed to, I need to do five more. Um, well, that was a five. It kind of just felt like it was too much. I didn't want to have to touch the bat to begin with. And I, she was still alive, and I was waiting for a moment because I, after I heard that last that breath, I waited for a moment to see what shape was at if he was going to come around, and then he did. And so I picked up the bat, and it was around five, and I was saying, okay, I couldn't do anymore. And how did you end up with the bat in your hands? Because um, he left it back there when he was standing on the trail and didn't have it with him. He didn't have to. I didn't drag the body. He probably did drag it with his soul. No. I think after I dragged the body, he went back there and set the bat down and then went back out on the trip while I finished moving 